What's poppin' youngest? I am back with another video. And if y'all read the title, y'all already know what type of video this is. It's self-explanatory. It's the top five sneakers in my collection that I regret that I have in my collection. So I hope you guys, you know, enjoy this video. I was gonna do this video in ASMR form, but I chose not to because I actually got a lot to do and I wanna put this video out. And y'all know about ASMR. There's a lot of editing, a lot of, I gotta use the mic, I gotta do all this other stuff. So my next video will be ASMR platform, uh, will be ASMR based, but this one will not be. So, you know, grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's watch the video. Let go, number five. All right, number five has to be these confettis. These confetti eights. Um, I, re I forgot when these came out. These came out, um, 2006, 2007. I'm thinking 2006. I bought these when me and Batala actually got uh, back from Disney World. They were supposed to le release when we was in Disney World. But, what did I buy when we came out of Disney World? Yeah, yeah, when we came back from Disney World, the first time that we actually went, these came out that weekend. Um, they came out with this pair, the black pair, and some 12s actually came out also. These 12s right here came out the same weekend as these. These were supposed to be limited, and these were supposed to be GR, you know, these 12s actually. So, the thing is, I, I feel like I bought them off Impulse. I bought this shoe, I bought this shoe, and I was trying to buy the black shoe the same day. I think I almost spent $600. Yeah, I think I almost, no, seven. I think I almost spent $700 in one day but trying to buy three pairs of shoes. Um, it, it, it was pretty much an impulse, you know what I mean? It was pretty much an impulse. Um, you know, Jordan with the gimmicks that come with the, the bag right here. Um, it, it's like a shell, it's like a bone color. It's like, you know, it's not uh, all white colors, kind of like that, you know, a creamish, shell color I uh, hope the camera is not blowing it out yeah so um, I, I don't know what I why I spent the money for this oh and retail was actually 250 on these after you know after um, taxes and stuff probably 270 I spent on this shoe and a black shoe so 270 plus 270 plus um, 200 and 62 cent how much is that they gotta be over $700, pretty, yeah. A little bit over $700, so. Yeah, this was number five. Don't get me wrong, I I liked it at the time. I haven't worn it at all, DS. So I've been having this shoe for almost, how many years, about four? About 2016, yeah, about four years. And I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man, I, I just don't know, like, I want to sell it, but I don't think I'm going to get the money that I, you know, that I paid for it back, but I might wear it, I might not, but I, I really don't like this shoe. Like, every time I want to wear something with it, like, I can never put nothing with it. Like, and it's a good shoe, like, it's a nice shoe, it's the, you know, the, the, the Jordan, I guess Jordan came out with these to celebrate, you know, his, his championship that he won in the eights. Um, I got the championship pack in the sevens, and I got the championship pack in the sixes. So they came out with the championship pack sixes, championship pack sevens, and the championship pack eights. And yeah, I, I got them. And this is the least, my least favorite. My least, least favorite. So it was like, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's a nice shoe. That bone color is just throwing me off. I just feel like it's gonna be one of them shoes where I just put in a rotation and just wear it just because I have it. Like, And that's the thing that I don't wanna do. I just don't wanna, you know, wear a shoe just because I have it and, you know, and mess it up, so. But anyway, number five is right here. It is, you know, Retro 8. Um, I, I think it's the, conf the confetti. Was the black one's named the confetti or was these named confetti? I know one of them was named the champagne. I think this was named the champagne bottle 
and the black pair was named the confetti. But like a car with, you know, confetti, you know, take the confetti out, throw it in the air. I can get Jordan be coming up with some, some retarded gimmicks, but yeah, confetti in the back, the championship eight, champagne bottle, I guess. Um yeah, this has been number five. Let's go on to number four. Let's get boom! Number four. My number <laughs> this this shoe. All right, let me put this down. This shoe right here was, when I say um, a, a very, very uh, impulse buy, it was very much an impulse buy. Um, I, the Gatorade, these are the Gatorade Sixes. I wasn't, I don't know why I was about to say the name, but yeah, these were the Gatorade Sixes. Um, these pretty much look like the, uh, the Carmines, I have the Carmines over there. These pretty much just the same color black of the Carmines. Um, when these first came out, I didn't really like them because of the soul. Like, look at that soul. Like, it's just, like, and the crazy thing is, I only wear this shoe twice. Twice. I wear this shoe um, when I did, like, some, some photos. I did, like, some, you know, some Instagram photos. And I wear this shoe when I went to LA for the second time. And look at this shoe, like, look, look at the sole. Like, I don't understand why people like this, this, like this uh, yellow, oldish sole. Like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of even buying a brand new shoe if you want to? Like, I, I, I never understood people who like their brand new shoes to look like they already been worn. Like. 10,000 times like if you're gonna spend some good money on some brand new shoes I got some beat up shoes that I will that you can buy since you like you know old shoes But a lot of people oh it's, it look vintage it, it gives a character me I don't like that I like my shoes to be icy blue at the bottom you know I really like that it gives that fresh clean look not this dirty like I, I just can't stand when new shoes look dirty like What's the point? Like, I like shoes that's kind of like, you know, like the eights I just said, like kind of little, you know, that, that cream color or, but it has to look clean, you know what I mean? This color blocking is already like orange with a yellow bottom, it just looks dirty. And uh, the orange is not like super bright. So it just looked like a, like a dirty shoe. And, you know, it, it was pretty much an impulse buy. I went past this shoe almost like, Almost like a long time. These shoes were sitting up in um, the, the mall for a long time. I actually bought a jacket that went with these real well. Before I even got the shoe, I bought the jacket. So I'm like, oh, this jacket is so cold. Then I'm like, I but where about I think I bought the jacket from Laced Up. If y'all see what I be wearing in my videos, it's that orange, you know, it's that that uh, that I, I forgot was it's like a it's like a Letterman jacket. But it's from Laced Up, and I really like that, you know, that jacket. And I guess they made the jacket for these shoes. So when I saw it on the internet, I just bought it. But then I'm like, dang, I don't have the shoes for it. So I just went to the mall and just grabbed it. This crazy part is, I didn't even go to the mall to buy these. Like, we were just in the mall. I The jacket was on its way. I saw it. I'm like, you know what? Let me just buy these shoes. Like it, it, it really doesn't matter. Like, I'm just gonna, you know, like I'm just gonna wear it for the jacket anyway. Wear it a few times and just probably just beat it up because I really, really don't care for it. Um, uh, I, I really hate that I bought this shoe. Like this, I really, really do. I really hate that I bought this shoe. Like it's, it's, it. Like if they would have put a icy blue, like I like the top. Cause it looked like the Carmine's. But if they would have put an icy blue bottom there, I probably would have had two pairs. Like, I hate this shoe, but the icy bottom could have changed this shoe up. Like, more than 360. It could have went around multiple times. Like, it could have, this. if they would have put an icy blue bottom on here, this shoe would have been so cold to me. Like, y'all just don't know how icy blue shoes, it, it really, make the shoe like it really makes the shoe pop like and i it, and they just put this nasty yellow sole on here it look like somebody peed on it but but i will wear it because you know i did buy it um 
I, I'm pretty much not gonna care for it. Probably just gonna throw it on feet. Just rock, keep it moving. You already know what it is. But these are the Retro Sixes uh, Gatorades. And this is my number four uh, that I regret being in my collection. Um, let's go on to number three. Let's go. Boom. All right, number three. Um, these are number three, and I didn't want to put them last because this was actually a Christmas gift from Batala. And you know what's so crazy about it? I asked for this shoe. This was one of these Jordan one. This was these Jordan ones that came out that people, you know, how can I say? Um, before people was loving the Jordan ones. I believe these Jordan ones came out in 2000 and uh, 14, 2013, 2014. But Tyler bought me these for Christmas. As y'all can tell, me and Butthead has been together for a long, long, long time. Um, yeah, she bought me these for Christmas. She she had but <laughs> all right. That's how it went. She bought me these for Christmas. Well, she had bought me something else for Christmas, and she had bought me a game, and she didn't know what else did she want to get me for Christmas. So she asked me, and I'm like, you know, um, I want these these coming out. I I remember I had watched. Um, a Mike Rich video when he literally posts these and back then shoes like this was just silly like it wasn't like oh Jordan 1 came out oh the leather is just so crispy like Mike Rich had bought these and he had did a review and I was I remember I, I, I used to watch Mike Rich when he when he had like 20,000 subscribers or when he was just you know moving up because I was doing YouTube at that time but I wasn't you know what I mean like this was 2013 2014 I believe so, yeah, I remember when he was moving up, and I remember he had bought these, and you know he he did a review on them, and I'm like, oh, the wax laces, oh, this is this is nice. Then when she asked me like, what else did she, did, what else did I want for Christmas? I asked for these, and <laughs> it's a picture. I, I don't know if I, I can find it or put it in here, but I had like these. I had a, I had a, some black pants. I had a leather jacket, like. This is back then where I just thought like it was just like when you wanted to be grown. Like I think I was, well, I think I was a junior in high school. This was like you know that that grown fit that you put together. Like oh I got on the leather, I got on the you know the all black shoes, wearing all black, you know with the all black snapback. <laughs> but I, even though it was a gift, I hate this shoe bit in my collection because it's to be honest, it's really not in my collection. It's really. Uh, across the border of uh, my shoe boxes. This is where I put like all the shoes that like I wear like on a on a daily basis. I put all the shoes that like already got I got two pair of these so it's one in the box and I keep like majority of all the shoes that I'm like you know that I that I will wear you know that I will just come in and slip on and stuff like that. So this is the shoe that I got across the border uh, you know, my shoe collection. So if I'm about to go to the store, if I'm about to, you know, go do something outside and I don't want to get dressed up, these are the shoes that I just throw on. Um, clean shoe though. Clean, clean shoe. It's a nice shoe. I must admit. <laughs> it's a clean shoe though, but I just, every time I look at it, it's just like, why, why? Obviously, it's the Jordan one, so it's just like, oh, everybody, you know, like the Jordan ones now, but I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just like, why? Let's go to number two. Let's go. Boom. All right. Number two. Yes, it is a Jordan 4. These are the Retro 4s uh, Motor Sports. If y'all know me, there's no way a Jordan 4 should be in this type of video. That's my favorite Jordan of all time. It's a Jordan 4, my favorite of all time. And, you know, it, it's sad in my heart that this had to be in a collection and it's sad in my heart that it's so, you know, that I regret it so much that it's in number two. Um, when I first saw this shoe, I wanted the shoe so bad because it was a motorsport. And y'all don't know, Jordan um, is a Jordan has a you know a, not a race car team but a bike team. Is that how you say a motorcycle bike team? 
uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but yeah, and it had like, um, it, it had like a face right here. I'm pretty sure that was like Spike Lee face or it was something that had to do with the motorsport, whatever. But these shoes was exclusive to his bike club. And I really wanted the shoe, you know, my favorite color is blue, you know, it, it, it's just look at the shoe it really stand out you know it's really a nice looking shoe i will double up if i had the chance but when i got this shoe man when i got this shoe i literally went to the mall and i had bought me and my uh my nephew a pair uh rashad i, I bought me and him a pair and when i first put this shoe on i first wear this shoe let me show y'all i think i only wear this shoe about three times Take that out. Oh, that almost fell. I almost wore this shoe about three times. Look at, whew, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but it's a big, I have a, it's a big crease right here. Stupid crease. Anybody who bought this shoe, you guys know, look at them. Like, man, I wish the camera could pick it up. Like, big old creases for no reason. Like, if y'all bought this shoe, y'all know that this shoe was, you know the leather was like cardboard it feel like it's just cardboard it's like they you know made a shoe and made it out of cardboard like as soon as you put it on it wrinkles badly super badly it was like it's not a shoe that like this is not a shoe that you would spend 200 dollars on this is a shoe that like to be honest it feel fake like this shoe feel like 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 it's fake it don't feel like a, a real shoe like like, if it would have had nice, you know, buttery leather or something, I would have doubled up on this shoe. This shoe sat so hard because of the leather. Nobody wanted to buy it. Because every time you see somebody wearing this shoe, it's broken up, it's messed up. The toe box is just all creased up for no reason. Like, it... I don't know what to say about this shoe. Like, like I hate to put a Jordan 4 and my regret list, but come on. Don't get me wrong, I love it because it's a Jordan 4. And you know, let's go on to my number one shoe in my collection that I regret uh, so heartily. Uh, let's go. Boom! The number one shoe I regret. And yes, I am holding them like they stink. They don't stink. But I am holding them like I'm disgusted because I am disgusted. <laughs> Let's get into the shoe. Boom. Um, it is the Gucci. I don't know why I'm touching the bottom of these shoes, bro. Like, and they be dirty. But it is the Gucci, Gucci, uh, Rayaton Dash Sneaker. I regret this for personal reasons. I, I, obviously, I always, all these shoes is personal reasons. This shoe, I regret because me personally, I feel like, you know, what happened with the whole Gucci movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you watching this, you like, oh, I'll get over it. No, I'm not. Um, with the whole blackface, with the whole, you know. It's just one of them shoes that, that you look at and it, it, it just... It just you 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 think, and even though I got I got more Gucci than just these shoes, I got the flip flops. Y'all already know when I bought for my birthday. Like we all, as you know, different races, and you know we all buy expensive brands. We buy Jordans, we buy Gucci, we buy Louis Vuitton, we buy you know Prada, all this stuff. Like is their brands, and they supposed to you know make you feel good when you wear. They supposed to you know be top quality. There's supposed to be a lot of things that a lot of these brands are not. And we still give us give them our money. But this shoe showed me, this shoe and its brand, it's really, to be honest, it's really not the shoe. Like it's really not the shoe, it's the brand itself. It, it really shows us that we can't, like, if, if it came down to it, we can't even stop wearing a brand. You know what I mean? Like if, a, if something, like disrespect us as a race or something disrespect us as you know just humans period that we can't even stop you know wearing a brand like i'm to the point where it's just like 
you know, if y'all if y'all know me, I, I'm I'm a guy where it's just like everything should be equal, and I will not shut up just because you tell me to shut up. And I'm cool with everybody. You know what I mean? I I don't play favoritism at all. But I I'm just not gonna have you think of me one way and have me you know. I have to I have to shut up because you don't like the way I talk. No, if you're gonna be my friend, you're gonna be cool with me. We're gonna talk. You're gonna get all of Jay. You're gonna get all of me. You're not just gonna get half of me because I wanna, you know, please you or I wanna be your no, it doesn't work like that. When it comes to friendships or it comes with messing with somebody or it comes with like being cool with somebody, everybody has to be hundred percent on. If I take if I if I take your fun side, I have to take your baggage. Same way with everything, a relationship, a friend. Don't, like, just don't be there for the good times. And that's what a lot of people fail to forget, that when you in a friendship with somebody, when you in you know relationship with somebody, when you just got family, don't be in there just for the good times. Don't just be like, oh, this is, she throw a party every day. She she goes out, we goes out, we have fun. But soon as that person have a problem or she's dealing with a family that died, she's dealing with something at her job, you don't want to be around like, oh, it's the negativity. A lot of people use that to try to, you know, to, to try to mask their selfishness. Oh, I hate being around negativity. No, you just, you just selfish. You don't want to help nobody. You don't want to deal with nobody's problems, but you want somebody to deal with your problems. And this was the shoe that really showed me that word. We can't do nothing until we get our, our, you know, our house in order. Like it really exposes because at the end of the day, we couldn't even stop and we couldn't even stop wearing wearing a brand like you know what i mean wearing a brand like these shoes are almost nine hundred dollars like nine hundred dollars nine hundred just for this sneaker right here this sneaker almost cost it nine hundred dollars and it really showed you that it's like bro you know we couldn't if something if somebody came up and disrespected us we couldn't even stop wearing they brand there's so many brands there's, you know jordan brand there's, there's nike converse there's other brands that we could have went to we literally couldn't stop this it was literally people like man y'all can go with that boycott I'm, I'm i'm wearing brand i'm wearing my clothes i'm wearing this like dang they're not even asking you to bed for a long time people just asking people to come together for like three months stop wearing it and you know, really show people that you know we 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 not about to you know get you know talked about. We just not gonna get used for you know um, attention all the time. I don't want to continue to talk you guys ears off. This is my number one shoe that I regret. Obviously, it costs too dang much, almost nine hundred dollars, and that's almost a thousand dollars. So almost nine hundred dollars. Came out to like eight something, almost nine hundred dollars. Um, don't get me wrong, this is a nice quality shoe, nice leather. I really, you know, like the font. I really like the, you know, like I told you guys, I like that, like that shell color. You can actually wear the shoe with everything. It's not, it's not the shoe itself. It's just, you know. I just, feel, I just feel like I got played, bro. For some reason, with this shoe, I just feel like I got super played. I just feel like, you know, it really shows you, like, whatever. It just really showed me, like, people think, these brands think, like, hey, whatever I do to anybody, they can still wear my stuff. Like, it, I remember the back in the day when people used to stop a brand and they used to crumble. The brand used to come back, like, I'm sorry, I'm doing this. Now, nowadays, it's just like brands can do whatever they can, you know, they can say something about black people, they can say something about white people, they can say something about the Holocaust, all types of stuff, and we just be so scared, like, oh, I'm going to die if I ain't got a Gucci shirt on, if I ain't got, you know what I mean, but this has been my number one shoe, obviously, it costs too damn much, and I just feel like I just got played, and this is the Gucci Ranton, whatever it's called, uh, that sneaker, um, yeah, this has to be my number one sneaker that I regret. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, more videos in a way. I am actually, you know what? I am not going to say. Y'all just going to see when I post it. Um, yeah, more videos in a way. I, you know, I have a lot of sneakers. Y'all been telling me y'all want more sneaker content. So, you know, I'm going to balance it out. I'm going to do, you know, sneaker content. They got to do with ASMR. I'm going to do sneaker content that don't have nothing to do with ASMR. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Trust me, I got more pranks on them way i do um i got a lot of stuff on this channel this is just life is young and like my name is life is young i'm gonna show y'all everything about myself from vlogs and everything 
Um, yeah, this has been my top five of sneakers that I regret. Other than that, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Please, please hit that subscribe button if you're watching this. And other than that, I am gone. Peace.